Good morning and good afternoon, depending on where you are. And if you look in the upper portion of the frame in the middle, there are those three tabular surfaces that are exposed. We don't know what they are. They could be exposures of ice, or they could be exposures of rock. What we have is what you see. So what we're going to do over the next few sols is go back with the robotic arm and the robotic arm camera and get closer in shadow and turn on the blue, green, and red LEDs so we can get some color data. So we, this is really scientific method. This is exploration and discovery. So we either discovered ice or not. But what we want to do is go back and, and test this. Here is to keep the, the work volume as pristine as possible. And we have two hypotheses. We have rock, we have ice. We're really pushing for ice, but we don't know if that's the case yet. And the real way to do this is to continue to look at this feature and then get out to the work volume and get the soil and expose whatever ice is underneath and see if we see a similar tabular shallow structure that we can sample and bring the material back into the spacecraft to really nail and test the hypothesis of ice versus rock. What we found was a, uh, an anomaly that looks like we have a, a short circuit in the ion source. The ion source is a part of the evolved gas analyzer that actually uh, generates the ions that we analyze. And this short circuit is intermittent. Uh, we are working on some diagnostic packages that we'll send up in the next few days. And we're actually quite optimistic that we have a workaround that will allow us to operate the instrument with nearly the full uh, capabilities that we had when it left the, left the ground. All right, if there are no further questions, as we sign off, 